Hello everyone. Today is very special day. Today is Eid. And we all are celebrating Eid in India. So happy Eid to everyone and everyone who is watching and everyone around here who is watching us and participating in this special session of uh, special session of new ways and secrets, you know, secrets of how to communicate with confidence. So I'm I'm going to talk about that and uh, being a special day. So it's uh, very necessary. You should know how to communicate. So there are many things where we can communicate with people easily. So first of all, we will talk about how to communicate. There are ways how to communicate. And then we will go in for meditation. So let's start. So first of all, you should unlock your voice. That is the secrets to communicate with confidence. And of course, you can take the help of crystals. So, if you're feeling tongue-tied or shy, here are some tips to boost your communication confidence along with crystals to amplify your message. First of all, you should know what you are going to talk about. Research your topic and practice what you want to say beforehand. Crystals which are helpful in this is fluoride, which enhances focus and clarity. Then your body language. It should be very confident. You should stand tall. You should make eye contact and use open gestures to project confidence. So for this, the crystal is carnelian, which boosts courage and empowers your voice. Then speak clearly. You should not speak in your mouth like many people speak. So speak clearly and concisely. Articulate your thoughts. Avoid filler words mm, or like or uh, that should not be there. You should speak very clearly what you want to speak. And for this, you can take the help of the crystal font. Mm -hmm. Lays a gate, which promotes clear and articulate communication. Then listen acting. Pay attention to what others are saying and respond thoughtfully. If you are not attentive, then you won't be able to respond properly. So for this, the crystal is amethyst. Enhances with enhance, enhances listening skills and empathy. Then, embrace your an authentic voice. Don't try to be someone you are not. Like many people start uh, imitating their favorite uh, actor's voice or their favorite uh, relative's voice or their idol's. So speak with genuineness what you are and passion. For this, the best crystal is Owlite. It reduces self-doubt and allows you to express your future. Believe in yourself. Confidence is contagious. Trust your words, your ability to communicate effectively. For this, the crystal is citrine, which attracts positive energy and empowers self-belief. So you should carry a crystal in your pocket or wear it as a jewelry for a subtle confidence boost throughout the day. Okay. So knowledge is power. Then next is body language. Okay. Body language is very, very important when you are speaking. 
So mastering your communication goes beyond just words. Some powerful secrets I will tell you about how to project with confidence and get your message across. Be prepared and research your topic very well. Your own space, that is body language, it should be very confident. You should not be hunched like this or you should not cross yourself. You should not cross your legs also. And uh, folded hands also is not good sign of uh, good con confidence and uh, communication. Eye contact is very important. Then you should use open and purposeful gestures. For example, like I'm talking to you, so you are used, I'm using the hand and my uh, face, my smile. So all that you should do. So body language, for that, your body language should be open, purposeful gestures and emphasize your point. Avoid fidgeting or cross -run. same as like this or like this. You should not do that. You should be open. When you are open, when then the person in front of you thinks psychologically that you are open to the push. You should speak clearly and calmly. Articulate your voice, your thoughts at a moderate pace. Avoid the words. I told you already. And your breath should be controlled. You should not be, that should not be. It should be very smooth. So like normally you are breathing and you are maintaining the conversation. And then uh, you should not speak in between. Like when uh, someone is talking, you should not interrupt in between. That is very important. You should keep silence. First, you listen what the other person is saying. Then you should respond. Then, focus on your audience. Consider what they want to hear and tailor your communication accordingly. Like I say, okay, I will give short points about how to communicate with confidence. If I go into elaborate, uh, more deeper and more uh, content, maybe people may not be able to, you know, uh, digest everything and they will go away from it. They won't listen, they won't like to listen and they will be bored. So you should be concise to the point. And clearly exhibit what you want to say. Next is celebrate your unique uniqueness. Don't try to be someone you are. Your authenticity, you are a unique person. Then vocal tone. How to vocalize you? Project your voice. Mastering communicate goes beyond words and body language. Here, your voice should be projected strong. So proper breathing should be there. Speak from your diaphragm, not from your throat. This creates more stronger, more resonant voice that commands attention. So I'm speaking with my diaphragm. So you can always hear it very clearly. And I'm projecting my thoughts very clear. So that is very important. Then vary your vocal tone. Don't speak in a monotone. I also don't speak in monotone. Sometimes I raise my voice. Sometimes I will be smiling. Sometimes I will be um, using variety of uh, vocal tone to express myself. So Use vocal variety to emphasize your key points and keep your, keep your audience engaged. 
for example if i want to say okay uh, you should speak loudly so now loudly should be little louder than the normal other uh, words so that is how you can vocalize your communication so that way your key points will be registered in the mind of the person to whom you are speaking Then embrace your positive body language, smile. I keep on smiling, and uh, it makes you ap appear approachable and confident, even during serious conversation. When you keep smiling, and you know, people will feel okay. Positive person is speaking, so they are more attracted and attentive towards you. Then positive self talk. Replace self-doubt with positive affirmation. I will be telling you affirmation also to boost your confidence before speaking. Then humor. Use humor strategically to break the ice and build rapport with your audience. Be mindful of the situation and your audience's sense of humor. If you are cracking a joke or sharing some anecdote from your own life, Audience will be happy to, you know, uh, attracted and happy to hear it. For example, I tell you about the voice vocalization. When my children were young and they were learning, what I used to do was when I have to emphasize one word for which they were making mistakes, I will raise my voice. And the spelling also, I will raise the voice so that it registers in their mind. And till now, they remember it. So this is how, what the ma magic of vocalization is. Then, embrace mindfulness. Being present allows you to stay calm and collected even under pressure. If you are not attentive, you will you will lose in between and then you will be lost and you won't be able to communicate properly. Then practice makes progress. The more you practice communication, the more comfortable and confident you will become. So speak. Speak wherever you can. Communicate with people. Communicate with yourself. I will tell you more that. Learn from others. Pay attention to how others confidently communicate and incorporate their technique into their own style. So you should watch people speaking. If you want to become a speaker, you will watch successful people, how they are speaking. And then you will know that they are speaking with confidence and whether you can pick up their bits their style, not their style, you can make your own style, but how they speak, you can always understand and you can incorporate into your communication skills. Then, celebrate successes. Recognizing your progresses keeps you motivated on your journey to confident communication. So, keep recording, writing, journaling, how you are proceeding, you can always talk to us regarding communication. So, effective communication is a skill that can be developed with dedication and practice. Embrace these secrets, own your skills, and watch your communication confidence soar higher and higher. Now, let me tell you some exercise which you can do to improve your communication skill. So it is a journey. And here are some fun and effective exercises which you can do. Solo practice. As you know, you must be remembering one of the movies of Amitabh Bachchan where um, it was, I think, so Amar Akbar Anthony or Sambar, uh, where he is talking to himself in front of the mirror. And he is taping all the bandages on the mirror. 
So here also I will tell you about this. So mirror, mirror on the wall. Stand in front of the mirror and practice your delivery. Notice your posture and facial expression and eye contact. Record yourself if you would like to analyze further. So remember the Amitabha Bachchan The power of yes and improve this technique involves building on another person's idea. Start by recording yourself by saying yes and and then complete the sentence with a creative idea. Then positive affirmation. Repeat positive statements about your communication skills, boosting your confidence before important interaction. Visualize. Imagine yourself communicating confidently in, in a specific situation. See yourself speaking clearly, calmly, and engaging your audience. So visualization is very important. And when I give meditation, I give you the visualization in guiding message. So you have to do that. Now, this is the solo practice. Now with your uh, partners, you can do the practice. So role playing and list of friends or family member to practice realistic scenarios with you like a job interview or a difficult conversation. Mostly the people who work, who are going for interview, they do mock interview practice. That is very good to improve your communication skills. Then there are improved games. Play improved games that Encourages quick thinking and spontaneous communication. This can be done online or with a group of friends. Then there are another very important and very interesting table topics. So choose a random topic and take turns discussing them from a set of set amount of time. Focus on clear and concise communication. In olden days, people used to sit on the dining table and communicate with their family members. And that is very important, which plays a good role, a big role, when the children or the person who is communicating on the table, they, when they get up, go up, they communicate very efficiently. If you don't have that, you are, you know, you won't be able to communicate effectively because you are putting up your point in front of your family and you are getting argument also and you are counter countering that that gives you a good you know good insight and good practice with, for communication with confidence then feedback exchange deliver a short presentation or have a conversation with a partner then provide constructive feedback to each other on strengths and areas for improvement. You can contact me with noise. We will definitely give you a lot of input. And here we are doing that. We are training the trainers also how to present themselves when they are unable to do that. And when they show interest to come and learn, we give them our inputs also so that they improve upon themselves. And as you have seen over the years, many new trainers came, they expressed, they learned, and then they went on to their own journey, starting their own business or own training institute. So this is how we are also supporting people to learn how to communicate. Now there is a group practice that is Toastmasters International consider joining a Toastmasters club, which offers a supportive environment to practice public speaking and communication skills. Here I know few uh, organizations who do these kind of activities. Then networking events. 
attend networking events where you can practice meeting new people, introducing yourself confidently, and engaging in small talk. Now, networking events are of many types. They are like small also, like kitty parties and all. There are big ones like conferences and all, where you can always communicate, learn communication, network with people, speak about your ideas, share with them your ideas. And there you will have public speaking opportunities. Volunteer for opportunities to speak publicly, such as presenting a report at work or giving a toast at a gathering touch more and work your way up. So when uh, you are celebrating a party, birthday party, then say a few words about the birthday person. And it will boost up your confidence that you are expressing from your heart. And then you will develop your own style of speaking. So first, start small, and you will definitely be able to communicate very efficiently. So you have to practice regularly. The more you practice, the more confident you will. And you will be more comfortable in speaking in front of audience because many people, they have stage fright. So you will be able to overcome this. And be kind to yourself. Don't be distressed by setbacks. You will be criticized also. Take it very positive, but you will be progressing also. So celebrate your progress and focus on continuous development and improvement. And find a supportive community like Maven or mentor to uh, encourage you on your journey to um, communicate with confidence. So we are team. And we will definitely encourage you and we will definitely help you to correct your whatever discrepancies or your mistakes are. There's no mistake. Actually, it is all you have to improve. So with dedication and these exercises, you can unlock your communication potential and express yourself with clarity and power. Now, some of the affirmation which I would like to share with you before going into meditative session is I speak with clarity and confidence. This is one affirmation. Next is my words are powerful and impactful. I am a confident and effective communicator. I believe in myself and my ability to communicate clearly. I am worthy of being heard and understood. When facing a presentation, I am well prepared and ready to deliver my message with enthusiasm. During difficult conversation, what you have to say, I express myself assertively and with respect. In special settings, I feel comfortable participating in conversation and expressing my thoughts. And when you are anxious, how you should say what uh, affirmation you should say. My confidence grows with each word I speak. Then overcoming self doubt. I release self-doubt and embrace my authentic voice. Now, some are high vibrational affirmation that also I will share. My communication resonates with the energy of truth and authenticity. My voice radiates confidence and inspires positive connection. Then I express myself with clarity and high vibration attracting understanding. The next is my words are powerful tools for positive change and manifestation. I speak with wisdom of my higher self creating a ripple effect of love and understanding. 
So you have to repeat these affirmations regularly, especially before situations where you need a confidence boost. Speak them slowly and with conviction, feeling the truth of the words within. Combine affirmation with visualization for an even greater impact. So when you will incorporate positive information with your practice, you will be able to cultivate a strong foundation of confidence in your communication skills, allowing you to express yourself with clarity and trust. Now, this is what I have to say about communication. These are the, my secrets which I am sharing with you all. And these secrets are you know, you will not find it anywhere else, which I'm saying it to you. So incorporate it and be very confident and communicate effectively. So anyone who have any questions? Okay. So let's proceed okay. to Yes. Oh, no. I thought okay, you are completing. I was thinking you were also going to give us some, <laughs> you know, secrets as well. So I was like, yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, let's uh, start with. Hello, Minoji. Good morning, Minoji. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. So I just wanted to confirm the crystals that you mentioned. Uh, for confidence, huh? You mentioned crystal na, in the beginning for confidence. How light was one, I think. How light is, uh, yes. And um, I would uh, personally, I would say that tiger eye is very good for overall communication. Okay. For confidence, actually. Okay. Tiger eye is very uh, effective. How light is also there. Um, mm -hmm. But more than how light, tiger eye is more effective. Okay, thanks. So we can wear a bracelet or a, a mala, anything? Anything. Else. Yeah, anything. Because effect of tiger eye, I have seen in my daughters. Both of them used to wear when they were unable to speak. So I put them on tiger eye. So after that, they became like tigress. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank you. It was a very interesting session. I really enjoyed it. Very informative also. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's, uh, anyone else have any questions? So after that, I will go in for short meditation. It is already 8.45. Yeah. So quick 10 minutes meditation begins. Thank you, Minuti. Thank you. Okay. So let's start with a beautiful meditation high vibrational meditation which we can do and which you can keep doing again and again to improve your communication skills and you get instant confidence in your yourself. So, relax yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Sit or lie down wherever you are. Relax yourself, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Your feet are relaxed, your toe is relaxed, your ankle is relaxed, your knees are relaxed. Your lower body is completely and totally relaxed. Breathe in and breathe out. Your chest is relaxed. Your stomach is relaxed. Your shoulders are drooped out and totally and completely relaxed. Your hands are relaxed. Your fingers. You can feel the tingling sensation in your fingers. 
Whenever you feel that you are, you need lots of energy. Just visualize this beautiful cloud, blue colored cloud, enveloped in blue light, divine light, and vibrating with the mantra. You will feel very confident and you can express yourself very assertively. Your communication skills will 
improve day by day. You are strong. You express it yourself with confidence. Be in this moment for a little while and feel your throat chakra vibrating with its bright blue energy emanating from this beautiful flower. Your throat chakra is surrounded by this beautiful Beautifying life. You are feeling confident. You are feeling very strong. You are feeling assured. Now, your throat chakra is completely and totally developed, improved, and strong. Now, it's time to come back. The flower is open and you can reach it whenever you need it. Now, Breathe in and breathe out. Your whole body is covered with light and light. You are strong. You are confident. You are able to communicate effectively and assertively. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back to your Slowly within your toes, move your hand a little bit and open your eyes. You can do this meditation as many times as you want. You can do this day in. Your throat chakra will improve day by day. With this, I end this session. I think so you all are still in meditative state. If you have any question, you can just WhatsApp me and you can message me on WhatsApp or call me to make the team. I will be there to answer your question. So thank you very much. Good morning and happy Eid to everyone. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much. It was very nice. Thank you.